Hello, now we're doing question one. Um, question one says the box on which diagram below shows the max out of 80 obtained in the history test by a class of nine learners. Now we have question 1.1, as we can see, that says comment on the skewness of the data. All right, uh, when, let's first talk about the skewness of the data. Um, let me give an idea. If you look at, uh, you know, this is the first quartile over here, that's the median, which is the second quartile and the third quartile there. Now, if, for instance, the median is, um, is exactly the middle of uh, this, this rectangle, Okay, let's say the middle is somewhere, let's say the middle is somewhere there. We say that um, the data skewed symmetrically, okay? But if it is uh, like towards uh, the left-hand side, we say the data skewed to the right. But in this situation, uh, the median is somewhere here. The second quarter, the median is by 62. It's much closer to the right of uh, the rectangle. Then we say that uh, the, we say that are skewed to the left. Over here, we say that are skewed to the left. So, skewed to the left. Okay. Now we can also do question one point two. Um, the question says uh, write down the range of uh, the marks obtained. All right. As we know, the range is uh, the difference between uh, the maximum and the minimum. Okay. So I'll write here one point two. Uh, the range. We want the range. The range is uh, the range is uh, the range is uh, maximum minus minimum. Okay, max minus min. So now on a look here. Okay, let me write it properly. <laughs> um, range equal to max minus min, the maximum minus the minimum. So the range here will be uh, equal to, the maximum is uh, 80. We look at the maximum, it's 80. The highest, the highest uh, value here in the box is 80. And then the smallest is 20, okay? So the range will be uh, 80, uh, 80 minus 20, which is equal to 60. So that's the range. Now, um, the following question uh, says, <coughs> excuse me, um, if the learners had to obtain 32 marks to pass uh, the test, uh, estimate the percentage of uh, the class that uh, failed the test. All right, okay, when I look at the question here, we notice that uh, um, 32, 32 is just here, okay? Is uh, the first quartile, let me write here. This is the first quartile, Q1, and that's Q3, okay? Uh, 32 is the, the, the first quartile, let's say. The first quartile is uh, one over four, okay? One over four of uh, the whole data set. So one over four of the data, one over four of everything is 25%. So therefore we say here, we say 1.3, um, uh, we say uh, uh, 32, 32 is uh, the first quartile, okay? Therefore, you remember the, the first quartile is one over four. So therefore uh, we will say that uh, the percentage will be at uh, 25% of the learners fail. Okay, thank you. Well, we can also do question 1.4. Um, okay, question 1.4 says uh, in ascending order, the second mark is 28, the third mark is 36, and the sixth, the sixth mark is 69, and uh, the seventh, the seven and eight marks are the same. The average marks excuse me, the average mark for this test is 54. Now, uh, the question says, fill in uh, the, the remaining uh, learners in the ascending order. All right, so we're gonna fill in in this, um, 
the box whisker here. Um, now, okay. Mm, what we see, we notice that the minimum value here in the box is uh, 20. So the minimum must be the first value. So I'm gonna substitute 20 here for the first value. And then uh, the maximum is uh, 80, okay, the largest value. So it must be uh, the last one. In Apico, they say that they put the old nascent order. The old nascent order. Okay, eight is over there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, um, what else we know from the question? We do know that the median is uh, the middle value, okay, is 62. So now, because there are none here, to find the median, I'm going to do. Um, uh, the, the, I'm gonna do uh, the median will be given by I'm gonna write here 1.4. Uh, the median will be uh, n plus one over two. Okay, so uh, the median will be um, um, n is nine because the number of the data is nine plus one over two equal to five. Five is not the, the value of the median, excuse me, but this stands for the position, okay, the place of the median, position five, position number five. So I'm gonna count here where I can place 62, I count one, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth value, okay? So 62 is over here. And then um, what else? Okay, we can see we also have uh, the, the, the upper quartile, which is the third quartile. Okay, the third quartile must be uh, the median of uh, the, the of, of the first of the last half. Okay, like here, the median must. Have, I need to find the median here. I can just do it by hands. Okay, uh, because that, uh, the middle value must be this one because uh, it must leave two on the left and two on the right also. So the middle value must be seven so five must be here. Okay, so I find the median. Let me explain again. I find the median of this half. Okay, it is uh, the value in the middle over here. So 75 there. Uh, what position is that? Okay, let me write label the positions of each. It's like, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, all right. Now in the question, you said that um, the seventh and the eighth are the same. So uh, over here, this is also 75, okay? Um, now, what we have left with only uh, number four, the fourth position. Mm -hmm. How can we do that? All right, let's see. Uh, we do know that the average is 54, average meaning the mean, okay? The average is 54. So I can call this, uh, this X because I don't know its value. I call it X. You can call it anything you want. So, um, Um, oh, so I need to find X uh, because I know the average. Average is the sum of everything, okay? We do not X bar, the average, the mean. The average is uh, the sum of all divided by uh, the sum of all the data, X for I, all over N, okay? So this is equivalent to saying the average is it will be equal to um, the average 54. I substitute here by 54. So 54 equal to um, x plus the sum of all these. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my calculator to do the sum. I'm gonna use my calculator here. Um, let me enter. So we, we have like 20 plus uh, 28 plus 36 plus X plus 62. I cannot have text X here because I don't know, I leave it out. Plus 62 plus, plus 69 uh, plus 75 and plus 75 again and then plus 80. I do the sum of all this. So this is equal to 445. So, so we have like X plus 445 all over nine because uh, there are nine, 
nine of them, nine that are here. Now, uh, I am going to, to solve this. We can solve this by cross multiplication, okay? Because 54 here is like uh, over one. Okay, so we can cross multiply. We do uh, 54 times nine, and then uh, one times uh, all this here. So I do first one times that. What we get? Uh, we get uh, um, x plus 445 equal to uh, 54 times 9 is equal to, let's do here. Uh, this is equal to 486. So um, this is equal to 486. Now, if I need x, I can just move 445 over. Okay, this means that uh, x will be 486 minus 445. So we can just minus 445 here. And then this is equal to 41. So we'll say therefore, x equal to 41. So this value here is just 41. Thank you.